All right, guys, check it out. I am in Newark, Ohio. I just was down here filming in the old Kroger, what is now a spirit Halloween for the season. And as I looked down here, I immediately recognized that this used to be a Kmart. Yeah, look at that facade. You can tell immediately <laughs> that that was a Kmart. There's a little bit of the label scar up there. Nothing you can really make out, but now it's tractor supply and big lots. And let me show you something else here too. As I come up here to the tractor supply, look at the uh, look at the wall here. You can tell by the concrete that style of concrete that is Kmart right there. Let's just go in here for a minute and see if there's anything Kmart left. There's one thing right there. Got some label scars up here on the concrete from what used to be some department, or maybe that, that may even have said, thank you for shopping at Kmart up there. Got the big Kmart vents up there. Let's see if there's anything else we can find. Hmm, we found some Christmas. <laughs> Not time for Christmas. Let's see if there's any markings on doors or anything. Mm, not here. Let's keep looking. We got the floor tiles here that are obviously Kmart. I can get over how big those vents are. <laughs> Absolutely huge. We got some markings up on the walls here that probably were where there was lettering for departments and stuff. Other than that, and just the stuff we're used to seeing in Kmart, like, you know, the floor tiles and things like that, I don't see any little K's or anything around here at all. I was really hoping we would see something. That would be pretty cool if we did. Pretty small one, too. So, oh well. I really don't even see any markings on the poles here either, where there would have been like a call box or something. Huh, kind of strange. They completely removed all the K out of the Kmart. Let's take one more sweeping look. Used to be a Kmart by Kvent. Yeah, even the checkouts were changed. But those poles would have had Kmart uh, checkout lights on them at one point. Alright. Okay, so when we were inside, I was thinking, man, this is a small Kmart, but I totally forgot the tractor supply was also part of it. The old, uh, prison yard here. <laughs> the garden center. I mean, obviously, uh, this place is using it now. But yep, this was the, the garden center for this Kmart. Huh, kind of cool. Yeah, look at that brickwork, guys. Some lady came out while I was taking pictures, and she's like, what the heck are you taking pictures of? <laughs> And I told her, and she had no idea that this was a Kmart. Just take a walk through this side here, too. And see if there's anything that's descriptive and it doesn't really look like it guys just the big K vents but that is pretty much it let's go back here a minute the yard this would have been the prison yard <laughs> I don't know if those big red doors were red when it was Kmart or what. 
Can we go out here? Oh, yeah, we can. Yep, look at this. We're in the old uh, garden center, prison yard, of what used to be the Kmart here in Newark. Pretty cool. These even look like Kmart doors here. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty much it though, guys. Kind of interesting to be able to come in here and walk around and look at this stuff. Just notice what little remnants do remain of when this was a Kmart. How many times did I say when this was a Kmart? <laughs> I tend to repeat myself over and over. This right here may have been layaway. Or not. I don't know, that may have been. And maybe they just uh, turned it into bathrooms. Kind of doubt it. But you never know. Okay, so the lady working back there said she doesn't even remember when this was all a Kmart. She said this has been in here for quite a while. But, uh, but it definitely was, and it's pretty interesting to see this. All right, guys, well, that's it for the uh, former Newark, Ohio Kmart. Pretty amazing.